Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Logitech Unified Receiver and how to update the firmware on it. So to determine if you have a unified receiver, um, you can look for Logitech on there and you have this like six pointed little, uh, you know, icon thing on here. And that is a unified receiver. So this one is with a K400R keyboard. You'll also see these with other mice and keyboards from Logitech. And there are some security issues with it. So if we go to our browser and search for Logitech Unified Receiver Update and look for a URL from logi.com, we click on that. And this is going to talk about the security problems with it. And there are a couple different issues with it. They're going to fix some. They're not going to fix others. And right now I'm filming this in July, but in August they're going to be releasing another update supposedly. So you probably want to read through this. The problem with the security issues from what I understand is when you're pairing the device, uh, someone could like hack into it, and which you don't do very often, if ever. I've never paired, but still, it's not a bad idea to update it. So if we, there's a and a you could read through this, and if you go down here, you'll see this, you can download a simple updating tool here. So we'll click on that. Okay, we'll open that. Okay, it says, welcome to the Logitech firmware updating tool. I'll hit continue. And it says your receiver is ready to update. I'll hit update. Now I'll hit close and now it's all up to date, but I'm gonna check this in another month or two to make sure there's not a new update available. Now one issue with this is that the updater, as far as I know, is only on Windows. So if you're using Mac or Linux, um, you're kind of out of luck. So you can find a Windows computer and update it and then take it back to your um, Mac or Linux computer and use it there um, after you've updated it. So, and I actually use this keyboard a lot with like a PlayStation 3. I use it with all sorts of systems, Raspberry Pi. So now that I've updated it, I can use that unifying receiver with any other computer. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.